This is a video for 1158D, finding the volume and surface area um, of a cylinder. So I've got my base as a circle, and they told me in the diagram that my radius is five, and my height is two meters. So this length right here is two meters as well. <clears throat> so the volume of a cylinder is gonna be the base area times the height. And because the base is a circle, you know your equation is going to be pi r squared times the height. So filling in what we know, the radius is 5 and the height is 2. So in terms of pi, right, if I ignore the pi and add it on at the end, 25 times 2 is 50. So my volume is 50 pi meters cubed. If I wanted to actually use 3.14, my answer would be approximately 157 meters cubed. The surface area of a cylinder, you want to find the area of all the faces and add them together. Okay, so surface area, I've got my two bases which are circles, so two times a circle with a radius of five, right? We know that from the diagram. So that means that my equation is going to be two times pi r squared, pi times five squared, plus the lateral surface area. So remember, if I spread out this cylinder and flatten the lateral surface area, it's like taking the label off of a soup can and flattening it. So it's gonna create a rectangle. It's still gonna have a height of two, but my length is this right here, right? Well, what's that called? It's the circumference of the base. So circumference we can figure out by doing 2 pi r and if the radius is 5, 2 times pi times 5 equals 10 pi. So the area of this, the lateral surface area, 10 pi times 2 is 20 pi. Add those together and you're going to get an answer of 70 pi meters squared or approximately 219.8 meters squared.